Hi, good morning all. I am Shamila K. I talk about Mary Teresa Barra is a Chief Executive Officer of General Motors. Mary Teresa Barra is an American businesswoman who has been the Chair and Chief Executive Officer of General Motors since January 15, 2014. She is the first female CEO of a Big 3 automaker. In December 2013, GM named her to succeed Daniel Agerson as CEO. Barra graduated from the General Motors Institute in 1985 when she obtained a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. She then attended Stanford Graduate School of Business on a GM Fellowship, receiving her Master's in Business Administration degree in 1990. Barra started working for General Motors in 1980 as a cooperative student when she was 18 years old. Her job was checking fender panels and inspecting hoods and she used this job to pay for her college tuition. She subsequently held a variety of engineering and administrative positions. In February 2008, she became Vice President of Global Manufacturing Engineering. In July 2009, she advanced to the, she advanced to the position of Vice President of Global Human Resources, which she held until February 2011, when she was named Executive Vice President of uh, Global Product Development. The latter position included responsibility for design. She has worked to reduce the number of automobile platforms in GM. In August 2013, her vice president responsibility was extended to include global purchasing and supply chain. When Barra took over as chief executive of General Motors in January 2014, she became the first female head of an automobile manufacturer. During her first year as CEO, General Motors issued 84 safety recalls involving over 30 million cars. As CEO, Barra made GM move into driverless and electric powered cars through acquisitions including Strobe, a startup in driverless technology. In 2017, Barra was the highest paid Detroit 3 executive with a total remuneration of $21.96 million. In November 2018, Barra announced the closure of five North American plants and 40,000 worker layoffs. Her decision was criticized by President Donald Trump, who threatened to remove the company's government subsidies in response. Barra was listed as 35th on Forbes Most Powerful Woman list in 2013, rising in rank to 4th Most Powerful in 2018. In May 2014, she delivered the commencement address for University of Michigan's Ann Arbor campus at Michigan Stadium and received an honorary degree. Barra was ranked first in Fortune's Most Powerful Woman list in 2015, she remained in the number one spot in Fortune's Most Powerful Woman of 2017 and number one, number five on Forbes World 100 Most Powerful Woman, Woman list in the same year. In April 2014, Barra was featured on the cover of Times 100 Most Influ Influential People in the World. Barra was elected to the National Academy of Engineering in February 2018. In September 2018, Barra was awarded the Yale Chief Executive Leadership Institutes in Institute's Legend in Leadership Award. This is my presentation on Mary Teresa Barra. I would like to express my gratitude to Sundar Pandin sir for giving this opportunity and thank, thank you all for having your valuable time for hearing me. Thank you.